How's everybody doing tonight? Woo! I'm the Nasty Amish Man. I'm going to start off by telling you all a little bit about myself. I'm uh, originally from my dad's penis. <laughs> at, least, uh, well, at least that's what my mom has told me for years, but I'm not too sure about that because I've seen my dad's penis and frankly, I look nothing like it. I got more hair. <laughs> I think dad must shave or something. I don't know. <laughs> no, seriously though, I'm from uh, Napanee. I don't know how many of you people have been to Napanee, but... Uh, if you've never been there, don't bother, there ain't shit there. <laughs> it's kind of a long trip up here tonight. It took me about five and a half hours by a horse and buggy. <laughs> Thank God for the bypass, though I saved a couple hours. <laughs> the only bad thing about that bypass was I must have heard park that piece of shit about a hundred years. <laughs> now I don't mean to brag or anything, but I just got me a brand new buggy. It's a 2002 model. Beautiful. Jet black, leather interior. <laughs> Big orange triangle on the back. <laughs> to go along with that buggy, I have two new horses, so I got me two steeds. It's what us Amish people call a dual exhaust system. <laughs> I was at the dentist's office the other day, and I ran into this guy from uh, West Virginia. And my grandma always used to tell me you could measure the intelligence of a West Virginian by how many teeth they have in their mouth. This guy had like four. So he was pretty smart though. He says, uh, always wear a condom on my dick during sex. Do you Amish people practice safe sex? I said, uh, yes we do. We mark red X's on the back of the horses that kick. <laughs> They're like Pamela Tata Anderson. <laughs> Good, I'm not the only one. <laughs> She's got that hepatitis though. It's pretty contagious. And uh, me and her ever hook up, I got a solution for it. Wear a condom on my tongue. <laughs> she likes hard rockers? Well, I like hard knockers. I think we'd be, make a good pair. <laughs> uh, did you know that us Amish are credited with inventing the uh, sheepskin condom? That's true. Another nifty invention which we're credited with stems from a tradition called uh, the slaughtering of the sheep. You've all probably heard of that one. This is where almost every part of the sheep is used for something. Even the fuzzy little ears. Do you know what the fuzzy little ears are used for? That's right, maxi pads. <laughs> they can be washed and used over and over and over. <laughs> Uh, the modern day maxi pad has gotten way out of hand. You know, they got all these different sizes. You got the big pussy pads. You got the maxis with wings. Okay, you the maxis with wings. And you got the scented pads. Okay? They've got fragrances like uh, vanilla sunset. They've got uh, daffodil fills. And they got ocean breeze. I don't know how many people have ever visited an ocean, but it smells like dead and rotten fish. <laughs> Ladies, if you got to cover up a scent that smells that damn bad, you need to get your ass to see a doctor. Do we, have any, uh, do we have any Vietnamese people out there tonight? No. Good, I'm safe. Okay. Those guys really pissed me off. If you ever look at them, they look like they got those little slants for eyes, like on the sixth day. God was so tired after creating everything else, he just decided to cut a couple rectangles. <laughs> and the bad thing about that is they're making those DVDs in widescreen format, especially for them, so we all got to suffer. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously though, uh, and they asked the damn questions. I had this one Vietnamese guy asked me if I believed that Archie Bunker died for my sins. But, uh, well, that's true, that's really not a joke. <laughs> well, uh, that's all for me tonight. If uh, you liked my performance, give me a hand. And if you really liked it, give me a hand job. Come on, out of another hand for all the amateurs you saw.